channel so today is going to be my skincare routine on Accutane so I've done this video before like a couple weeks ago and I deleted it because all the products that I've been using for the most part I'm not using anymore because I found out they were bad for my skin because of the ingredients fragrance alcohols and I changed my whole routine and I'm gonna share it with you today and I hope you enjoyed this video and all the products I use are gonna be linked down below Bye. Okay, so the first thing I do in the morning is cleanse my face. So first I like to use this to pull all my hair back. You can get these off. Ow, my ears. Amazon. Okay, and I use the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. And I love this thing so gentle and just my face doesn't feel like tight and dry after I use it and I use this it was like a makeup remover towel and it's nice and gentle and then I always wet my face first since this is a water-based cleanser because you need water for it to work what and then I just take a little pump and I do 30 to 60 seconds I go circular motion and I always do everything on my neck too because your neck is the first thing that ages and you don't want to forget your neck and my other video you may have saw but I have deleted it because the products I have used I've realized are not good for me at all and thank you for skincare Hiram, this quarantine gave me opportunity to do my research and all my products and now I'm fragrance free and my super sensitive skin does not need fragrance and I got rid of most of my stuff and I bought a lot of new stuff and it's been working great and I'm going to show you guys my new routine. That's what this video is. Okay, so now take some warm water wash it off now that I'm done cleansing my face I take some cotton brown and I use the PHA toner by the Inky List. I love this brand. This is a gentle exfoliator for sensitive skin. And I stopped using the Thiers, which is a one. And I'm mad at myself that I was so like in love with it. Didn't realize how bad it was for my skin. So it works better when it, your skin is a little damp. Oh, still stuff in my face. And I use this like every other day. It's gotten way better. It hasn't been dry and flaky like it was before. And I even went up on Accutane and I find it that the products I've been using have been drying my skin out more. And especially on the Accutane, you gotta make sure the products you use are good and safe and won't overly strip your skin. Okay, now that I'm done with this, I'll see you back in my bedroom. Hey guys. So the first thing I do is I roll my face after I cleanse, and I've changed the way I roll is that I always go in upward motion and I don't go because it's not good.
now I'm just going to use, you always shake it before I use this, 1-1 one, one Skin Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. Hyaluronic acid is the one product, not one product, but one of the main products that really helped my skin during this Accutane. And I recommend anyone who's on Accutane to use it for a little hydration. And hyaluronic acid is one of the products that works right away and not like other acids where it takes a couple weeks to use. This works right away and I love it. And now... I am going to use my favorite, not, nah, no, that's the Marine Hyaluronic. Whoops, they both look the same, so I just get confused. This is the Nice and my 10% and Zinc 1%. I love this. And I'm using this to help fade my hyperpigmentation and acne scars. And I have a lot. And it's been pretty good so far. And it takes, I heard it takes like a month or two to really see a difference, but my favorite. I usually pat it in so it absorbs better. Make sure they get it. Sticky. I'm getting my curtains. Not my clothing, my shades fixed. So if you see that thing, yeah, it looks weird, but it, just ignore that. And I don't want to put too many serums because I have to put sunscreen on and I don't want it to pill. So that's enough right now. And I'm just gonna put some eye cream and I use a CeraVe eye repair cream. And I love this thing. Ever since I started using eye cream, I've seen such a big difference because I used to have like a lot more discoloration and it's gone down quite a bit yeah, so I just take a little bit here and I just here and I pat gentle that's how you want to apply eye cream <coughs> oh my god my allergies were so bad and I always put some on my lid too and I always make sure I do this because I have a lot of veins because my eyes, not my eyes, my skin is so um, pale and you can really see everything. So, yeah. Eye cream is not a necessity for skincare, but I like using it. Same with toner. Do who you feel is like right for you and what you want to do. Nice. <coughs> and right now I'm just gonna put some of this ointment on my lips from the dermatologist because they're very dry right now. And yeah. Sorry if I look like a hot mess, but I am a mess. Ew, it gets like that. I don't know why. If I didn't put too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of my dry skin. Okay, now, oh shit, let's do moisturizer. I'm gonna use this right now. Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration First Day Beauty. I love this one, and it's not too thick. It smells really good, but it has no fragrance in it. It's really good for sensitive skin and perfect to use at night to lock in that moisture. And I got this at Sephora. So get moisturizer. Now that I've got a good skincare routine locked in, I'm so proud of myself because I realized I never even really knew about skincare when my skin was at its worst. And now I've realized 
going to try to fuck you over with your ingredients. What? I found good ingredients and products that work for me. That's good. It's all about learning in the skincare community in this in general. Oh, I might be putting too much on, but... I like for it all to sink in before I put the sunscreen in. So I don't have a problem. <laughs> Whoa, that was my tummy. I'll be right back. I need to blow my nose. Okay, I'm back. And my favorite sunscreen I've been using is the Comfy Water Sun Black SPF, SPF 50 by Polito and I love this. It's been recommended by a lot of people I've seen on social media. It's fragrance free and it's Korean. You need to wear sunscreen every day no matter what. Cause it's good for you and other reasons why I forget. But it's one of the secrets for the best skin and glowy skin and helps aging and shit. But I don't know what I'm talking about but I do. I just don't want to explain it. But yeah, so I just go like this. And I got this on Amazon. You can get it on other like Korean websites, but I got it off Amazon. It was like maybe $15. I got it like this. And like it spreads out like much as but I cut off. How to pat it the same time. Yeah, my freckles are coming because I've been in the sun lately. Yeah. yeah. You can still get damaged by the sun even if you're sitting near your windows because it doesn't prevent you from one of the UVs that one that penetrates deeply and causes wrinkles and stuff you'll see in the future so it's always good to have a sunscreen on even if it's the clouds if it's cloudy because once I went to the beach last year and it was cloudy I'm like oh I don't need sunscreen and it came with a full body sunburned by the end day and it was horrible and you learn mistakes. Okay, and I also use this one, the Neutrogena Cool Dry Sport 70. And I use this too on my neck because I don't want to waste that on my whole body. This is a good one. Now, this is a chemical sunscreen which I don't really like to use on my face, which that one is a mineral broad sunscreen which has only two. Zinc oxide and what is it? I forget, but I have done my research, but you probably can't really tell because I'm forgetting everything alone. That's just how I work, but yeah, good. I use this on my body, it's a little greasy, but that's why I use on my face because I hate greasy sunscreens on my face. But I'll see you later for my nighttime skincare routine and see ya. Hey guys, so I just came out of the shower. I'm going to show you what I use to cleanse my face at night. So I use this simple sensitive skin moisturizing facial wash. And I meant to get the micello gel one, but I got this one by accident, but it still works and I love it. And sometimes I'll use a little bit of this just to make sure all my sunscreen's off my face after I cleanse. So Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is just the regular one and not the waterproof makeup one. But yeah. So basically I got rid of most of my face masks because I realized they have bad ingredients and not good for the skin. So I got a new one. This is First Aid Beauty. Ulta Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask, and I love this. And then this is from last video or two videos ago. The La Roche Posay Hydro Phase Intense Mask. I love this one. And then I recently got some under eye 
gel patches and I love these. Super cute, these are green tea ones. And this is Joy Jun. And it's a, I think it's a Korean skincare brand, I love this. And that's it, I'll be right back. Hey okay, guys, so this is my favorite lotion I've been using all the time because my skin is very dry. Aveeno, I love this brand. Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Geo Hydration, fragrance free. That's good. I always use it after I shave my legs and on my arms. We definitely need some. Definitely need some right now. So I'm going to put that some on my arms. Very lightweight. Oh god, you can see my messy ass bedroom. I don't know when I'm gonna post this because I feel like I shouldn't be posting right now with all the Black Lives Matter and stuff. Okay. Swallowing my face. Really want to shave my mustache, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But I did it like a couple of weeks ago, and it grew back. But apparently not supposed to shave your face because you could get scarring or something. I don't know. So Accutane that makes you have a lot of rules you have to follow, I guess. Okay. I'm going to use, make sure I have the right one. This is the Marine Hyaluronics by The Ordinary. It's very liquidy, so I either put it in my palms and do it like this, or I put drop it on my face, but I do not put the dropper right on my face because that's not good. But I think I'm just going to do that. Oh, I totally missed. Fuck, I'm stupid. It has a weird texture, but definitely gives you hydration. And it has like a little bit of salicylic acid at the bottom of the ingredient list, so I don't think it'll be that much of a problem. Because I'm on Accutane. But really like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put some that stuff in my lips because they're very dry. Oh my god, that's such a mess. Might to refilm this whole video tomorrow because I'm such a dork. Okay. I'm gonna use this. This is the Inky List Q10 Serum. And it's good or it's a, I think an antitoxin, which is good to get all the pollution out of your skin or something like that. And good for sensitive skin. I like to use it because when my skin's wet, it helps. This one's very oily. Consistency and a little bit goes a long way. And that's why it's only like an ounce. Or, yeah, an FL Ozzy nearly nice and white, I think. These droppers are so fun to use. Hat. Oh god. I do a little both. I always make, to make sure that I get here where I have some like, acne scars that help. I don't think I got much on my forehead. This is good for all skin types. My skin looks very red right now because I'm using my mirror and it has lights on it. So now I'm gonna put my eye cream. Thank you, Liz, for eye cream. This one really works. I love this thing. There it goes. Ah. Put a little here.
Okay. Oh, sometimes a lot comes out. Sometimes I put the eye cream last after moisturizer, or I put it before. Sensitive Hungarian Water Essence Calming Facial Moisturizer Fragr Calming Facial Moisturizer Fragrance Free Oh my god, I cannot talk But This was recommended for Best Truck Store Moisturizers on Hiram Skin Care with Hiram's YouTube channel So I got this it's really good, but it has a lot of white cast, so you have to like rub it in. Sometimes it feels a little thick on my skin, but it works. And to yes me with my sense of that. Sometimes it's really annoying. See, you should have let other products sunk in a little more. It's an okay moisturizer. I like the First Day Beauty better and the lowest Post Day one I have. I have probably seen on my channel. Okay. Okay, I'll show you. This is the moisturizer. My other moisturizer I have. It's good. It has nice and mild in it too, which I love. And that's it for my skincare. And I'm going to show you my little organizer on my desk. It's very cute. I got it off Amazon. Very cute. My skincare. I don't know why. But just really took. Oh, there we go. I got it. It was like a turntable. But I think there's too much shit on it. But very cute. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.